It's 419 of 2019. Here's what's left. The, uh, I believe I burned up the transformer on it, pushing it. 12 volts, 1.9 amps. I think its normal operating range is around 10 volts at 3 quarters of an amp. 7 watts, I'm pushing this thing closer to 19 watts. Uh, I tried changing the uh, timing on this, hoping to make it better. All it did was uh, stop the thing, stop working. The globe wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't, wouldn't even light. Anyway, this is a tip. 122 it's a Darlington this is the 4069 the hex inverter microphone this is all microphone stuff over here timing for the chip for this the transformer is over on this side see I had some problems before this happened uh, you can see how warm this transistor got this Darlington you can't see it it got pretty warm down there and uh, broke one connection so I reinforced it gave it better lines that's the uh, heat sink I put on the uh, Darlington this holds it'll pull 5 amps Didn't, didn't get too warm under here, but this will pull 5 amps at, uh, I think, 30, 40 volts, so that's, I've done, been through that, I've been through all of these. This lights, but very dimly, and it pulls twice the current now, or the system does, I should say. And it's got to be this. This coil must be shorting out inside. Windings melting together or something. So I'm going to have to get another globe. Because I can't find this one. It's got a number H11375. It has some sort of ferrite. in it. It's not an iron like you would think it would have on a regular. But anyway, it's all epoxied in there. Can't get to it. Can't fix it. So if you run one of these uh, Smithsonian Globes, to watch how much current you put into the thing. It's uh, the transformer isn't as durable as it looks. I ran it up to 13. I've had it up to 13 and a half volts for short periods of time. Trying to get more out of it. But that um, seems to be the problem. I've tried other transformers. This 
apparently is a very closely tuned system. Uh, you stray much from its frequency, it just starts dropping off. So it's uh, it's basically tuned. And there's not much you can do with it. If I could make me a stronger transformer, more durable one, I would, but I don't know the specs on that one. So that's uh, where we're at. I'm going to have to get another globe and take the board out and put it in, replace this with it. I've tried, I've got a plasma tower I tried replacing different setup, bigger transformer, it, uh, it's not, it's not into the frequency, this globe, what they have in there, the gases, it's a tuned system, uh, you go, if you vary out of this frequency, the other one had the voltage and the current, took more voltage, took more current, it just wouldn't, uh, it would try to light that thing up, but uh, it wasn't quite tuned to this, this is a closely tuned system, everything's working together. So that's what you'd be up against if uh, you went with this globe. You'll have to keep an eye on the uh, current and the voltage. Right. Here's the AC diodes. Right here, I bypassed them. I just jumped a DC from here. This was a positive. That was a negative. That's the microphone. So, uh, just watch how much you shove into it.